Leah Freeman joining us now with a look at our forecast. And Leah, we're kind of in that mid 90s, a little mm -hmm. warm today. Yeah, feeling very summer like. And obviously, it's the start of fall. We want to see those fall like temperatures, but we will get there. But today, our high was at 95. Notice the normal is at 87. So we were well above that in Bakersfield. Uh, at least we're staying below 100. So that's at least a good thing. But notice uh, we are still getting that offshore flow. These winds coming in from the north, the northeast. They're not that strong, but they're bringing in some warm, drier air still continuing. And that'll be the trend through the rest of the week. This ridge of high pressure continuing to move into our north and it's uh, bringing in a lot of these winds wrapped around it. And so that's why we're seeing these dry, warmer winds that are uh, pulling in for us. So that'll be the trend. Like I said, the next couple of days, this ridge continues to shift uh, over us and uh, our temperatures will stay in the 90s. The next couple of days, we're at 92 currently in Bakersfield, 90 in Buttonwell, 88 in Maricopa. The mountain's still a little bit more comfortable. 70s right now, 68 for Fraser Park and 80s mainly off towards the east. 90 right now, though, for California City. So the next couple of days, we're staying in the 90s uh, here over in until the end of the week, but tomorrow we're at 94 for Bakersfield. Sunny skies warming us back up. A good pool day for those of us in the South Valley. Even the Kern River Valley could hit the pool as well. 86 uh, there. Uh, you've seen notice the UV index high for Bakersfield, but very high up into our mountains. The South Mountains even into the 80s tomorrow afternoon. A little bit more mild, but overall our temperatures still warmer uh, than what we usually see this time of year. Air quality at uh, our AQI at 100. That's moderate, but notice 101 would put us unhealthy for sensitive groups. So just take it easy during the afternoon. Make sure if you are heading to the pool or doing anything outdoors. You're wearing plenty of sunscreen. You have your hats, every, everything you need for these warmer summer like temperatures. But notice as we head into the end of the week, we're going to watch this, uh, this uh, area of low pressure that's going to move into our north. What it's going to do, it's not going to impact us all that much. Overall, it will just uh, lower our temperatures a bit, but we're not talking about any rain for us. Uh, but yes, at least we'll see our temperatures return to more fall like as we head into the weekend and even into the beginning of next week. So we'll drop out of the 90s by Saturday, uh, 87, 84 by Sunday, much more near normal into the beginning of next week into the mid and upper 80s. But even more cooling will come by the middle of next week. 81, that'll be nice. So I'm thinking by the end of next week, we could return to the 70s for the South Valley. Kern River Valley, 80s uh, into uh, the start of next week. 70s by Wednesday, Tatchby Fraser Park will drop then into the 60s. So overall sunshine is going to stay dry, no rain in, into the next week, but no. at least the cooling is in our, our forecast. Yeah, I'd say 81 is definitely fall-like for we'll Baker. Wrong with the 80s. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Leah.